At least two more attacks in the transit system today, one of them sending a man to the hospital. It comes as police need your help in finding two people they say were involved in a subway stabbing. This happened in the Bronx. It happened just before. This video shows the assault on the station agent. She was walking out of the platform trying to wake a sleeping man under a bench. He came out swinging, fracturing her face. You can see commuters there restraining him until police made the arrest. Crime in New York City is so bad, Governor Hochul had to deploy hundreds of state troopers and National Guard members in New York City's subway to beef up security in the system. This comes about a week after a train conductor was slashed across the neck on a southbound train in Brooklyn. About a dozen troopers, guard members and police officers stood near a makeshift station where bags were being checked, seemingly at random. One officer directed some people coming off a down escalator toward the bag station, while dozens of others passed without being stopped. Some people have applauded the move, while others are still very skeptical about the need for more law enforcement and concerned about having armed soldiers check their bags. Public officials are battling a perception that the system is dangerous, even though crime rates fell in the subway last year. But this year, the number of major crimes in the transit system increased in January before declining again in February. In making her announcement on Wednesday, Governor Hochul framed the law enforcement surge as something that would help commuters and visitors feel safer. Under her plan, 750 members of the New York National Guard and an additional 250 personnel from the state police and the Metropolitan Transportation Authority will be scattered across the transit system. She emphasized that the National Guard would be focused in part on keeping weapons out of the subway system. They will join what is already a large force of officers from the New York Police Department stationed in the subways, where Mayor Eric Adams ordered an additional 1,000 officers last month.